Yo, what's up, you guys? My name is Christopher here, and in this video, and this video, I'll be showing you guys how to jailbreak the latest version of iOS 9. Um, iOS 9.2.1, which I think that's the one I am on, all the way up to 3.3. Um, so, oh yeah, okay, 3.1 I have, but it does work all the way from 3.2.1 and up. So, um, of course, always upgrading to the latest firmware. Now that we know that 9.3.1 can be drill broken or 3.3. Um, so yeah, so, um, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna show you guys a step. As you guys can see, this is already drill broken. And you can see, this is my last tab. And I can still go on. And I don't have no spotlight or anything like that crazy. Um, so yeah, and then as you can see right here, I have like, well that won't really show anything, I have like Cydia, which I can actually open it up to prove to you guys I am drill broken. Of course, just let it load, and voila. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this. The way I'm going to show you is the new version that came out yesterday. That's right, yesterday. Um, by the time y'all see this video, I'm not sure, it probably won't be yesterday. Probably like two or three or a month or a year, depending on. Actually, a paper shot won't be a year or something, but yeah. Okay, um, it is August 2nd, and they come August 1st. Okay, um, so the first thing you want to do is click the first link in the description below or go to allnightdrillbreak.com, just like that. That's it. All right, so hold up. Okay, so once you have this. You can, I guess, read if you want to. Um, two things. Make sure you, one, you turn off airplane mode. Turn it off. Make sure you do have your cellular data or connected to your Wi-Fi. Two, make sure you have find my iPhone off. Or to be way safer, just, um, um, turn iCloud off. Of course, you are going to need your Apple ID if you guys do not know that. So, yeah. Okay, um, so what's going to happen is... You want to go ahead and hop into Safari. You want to go ahead and click right here when it says install. And then a little gray button will pop and say install again. And if it does it, you just click your home button. And you should see it installing. Here's another hint. If you have an empty spot like that, fill it up. So I have cooked forever right here. Alright, so you can slide. Alright. There it is, cook forever. Make sure every slide is filled up. Why? Because wherever that empty spot is, it will go right there. This right here. So you need it to be on the very top, at least one or two. Because once you start setting, um, download, it's like, um, it's gonna say downloading, right? Like, where it usually says, like, inbox or Pokemon Go. Um, you have to slide it up. So as soon as it say install, because first it's going to say like downloading. Or yeah it's going to say downloading or something like that. I forgot. But once it says install. You want to go into airplane mode. And then it should automatically finish. It usually happens around halfway. Or I guess for whatever reason. Some people it goes all the way quickly. And then right there you can hit it. Then that's it. You can if you want to turn off on my iPhone. Or iCloud. And then now that's it. Now you just want to hop in here. Alright. Let it load. Oh, right there is a iOS version that work on. It's gonna be a big circle right here. Here. Okay. It's gonna be a big circle right here. That's gonna um say in Chinese, jailbreak. Right. It was um translated. All right. So you wanna click on it just like that, and then as soon as so click on it. Sleep your device. That's it. Once you sleep it, you're gonna get a notification, so your thing's gonna turn on. You can go ahead and slide it into your password or your fingerprint. All right, but it will actually just turn on three seconds, and then it will actually just like start off your device. So while that waits, um, I'll actually tell you how this works so you have a one-year contract or license 
So what that means is that you have one year that, because the old ones usually have seven days or one week. And if you power off your device, turn it off, whatever, it dies. If your battery dies, then um, you won't be available to redo it after those seven weeks. But with this, you have one year. Of course, I will show you guys right now how to do it if your device does power off, dies, whatever reason. You manually have to power off, say you just trying to activate it, um, how to put it back. So, you're already going to have that happen. As soon as that happens, you're going to have Cydia and this one right here. So, actually for me, it just pops white. I'm not really sure what this is for, but yeah. You just want to go back in here. Another circle is going to come up, the exact same one. Same process. Turn it off. Notification. Bow. That's it. Um. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's basically how you read your breaker device. It's gonna go through the same process. You don't have to download it again. That's really it. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys hear. Um, so yeah, so I'll see you guys. I wanna see you guys. Peace. But, I'm gonna show you guys two tweaks to, to get you up and going. First one is, 